really nice features of the RC1 offshore is the Cuddy. Now, we have them on our boats, but um, not quite as deep as this because of the cockpit. And uh, then inshore or in harbour, you uh, slide away the hatch and uh, you've got easy access down below, which absolutely isn't true on, on all class 40s and, and isn't on many of our, our custom boats simply because of the cost involved in, um, in organising this kind of arrangement whereby the uh, hatch lives in a garage above the companionway and uh, you end up with a completely watertight hatch but a normal yacht companionway. It's really nice. The kind of thing that you can do on a, on a production boat at a relatively good cost. Um, spread the cost of the tooling over, the, over a series of boats. The helmsman's view normally. Um, I'm sat where the tillers are, but the tillers are stored away in the container. Um, you've got um, good access, single handed, um, to your two winches, so you can trim to weather if you like. And uh, it's just a really nice, simple, pretty standard class 40 layout. Nice deep cockpit, really quite secure. One of the deeper cockpits of, uh, of um, the class, I'd say. And uh, your main sheet winch on an island in the middle of the boat. The older Aquilarias all have a fixed uh, bowsprit. At the moment, the bowsprit's in the container. Uh, this, um, at the moment, the boat's rigged with a, a furling headsail, so for short-handed sailing. But I believe it's got a, uh, a fixed headsail, fixed forestay, so that you can uh, sail with uh, normal headsails as well uh, when fully crewed. And uh, in the bottom of the picture is the, uh, the station position for your Tormantan. Orange deck, probably needs a repaint, but the rest of the boat, the deck, really doesn't need a repaint. It's really in very good condition indeed. 